Hey everyone, I'm Catherine and I am here with a review for you today for The 100 by Cass Morgan. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, one of the big pulls of me towards this book was the fact that they have made it into a TV series for the CW. And let's face it, the CW gets awesome shows. I mean, hello, Supernatural. But anyways, that was partially why I was drawn to it. The second part was because I thought the concept was awesome. I mean, basically, something crazy has happened years ago, and everyone evacuated Earth. And they have strict rules for living in outer space, because I mean, I figure you kind of have to have strict rules for living in outer space. And they decide to send a hundred of their juvenile delinquents to make room on the spaceship down to Earth to see if they can survive. So that's how this book starts. And you follow, oh my gosh, like four, yeah, four main characters. You get Bellamy, Glass, Wells, and Clark. And those are the four main characters um, that you get different perspectives from their, you know what I mean. It's interesting because you see what's happening both places and see you know, uh, what the, the corruption is up top and things aren't really as they seem and all of this stuff is kind of awesome. This book, this book, it was interesting. It took a little getting used to having constantly to switch between the four characters' perspectives. Um, the nice thing though was that at least, I'm going to pull up like a chapter. Each chapter was, you can see that, can you see that, was named with who was speaking and to my recollection they didn't switch mid-chapter which was nice because then you'd be really confused and even as it was, I mean like you don't generally read, you know, chapter nine every time you're going and starting a new chapter. So it took me a second every chapter to just kind of flip that switch in my brain to register the fact that it was someone else talking. Reading the book was an experience. It was strange. I mean, okay, most of you, I'm sure, if not all of you, have watched the shows that are on CW and they seem to have the same kind of like underlying script technique to them. And it was interesting because when I'm reading the book, it reads like a CW show. So, I mean, it's very visual in the fact that you can picture what's going on really well. Like the description was, description, <laughs> oh, it's late. Uh, the description was awesome for, you know, the people and the places and the scenery and all of that stuff. Um, and you get the same predictability that you get on your standard CW show as well. So, I mean, yeah, there were, there were a lot of things that were thrown in that three for a loop, but at the same time, like, you knew either something was going to happen or you knew what was going to happen. So, it, at the same time, you were prepared for it properly, um, even if it did come completely out of left field. So, I mean, that, that was a, I guess depending on your perspective, it's a pro and a con. I mean, for me, it was a pro because I'm excited for the show which starts in March. It'll be interesting to see how it translates between the two mediums. So I'm still really looking forward to it. Really happy I bought it. And it's interesting because when I told people that I bought it, they were like, oh I haven't heard the greatest things about that. And I was like, really? You know, and it it was interesting. Like they people hadn't heard that it was done very well and 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 other things and I was like well you know fair enough but I want to go into this making my own decisions so I did and I liked it I mean it wasn't it wasn't mind-blowing but it definitely captivated me enough that especially now I want the second book and I want it now and with the I, I definitely want to start watching the TV show of course I'll probably have to watch it online because I will work and I never remember when TV shows are on so I never get to watch them when they're actually on um, but yeah it's, it's definitely a show I want to give a try if it's really bad I probably wouldn't continue with it anyway you never know until you try so that is 
my review for the 100. I hope this video isn't like a million minutes long because I forgot to set my stopwatch. Uh, so until next time guys, let me know if you've read it, let me know what you thought, and let me know if you're excited for the new TV show coming up. And I'll see you soon. Okay, bye!